This is the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth. Before this, it was not possible. Living on a red planet and enjoying life similar to Earth seems like a dream, right? But for billionaires like Elon Musk, it's a concept that should be converted into reality. Elon Musk is ready to send his rockets to build a new city on Mars. But will Musk's mission of colonizing Mars really be fulfilled? What challenges and opportunities are awaiting humans on the new planet? Let's find out in this video. According to the news, the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, aims to build a self-sustaining city for one million people on Mars and transform humanity into a multi-planet species. At the company's February 2022 Starship Progress update, Musk said that he believes settlement on Mars is an important thing itself for the future of life. On Earth, there is always some chance that something could go wrong. That's why his plan is aimed at building something inspiring. The city on Mars would be open to regular people, not just scientists and researchers. People interested in moving to Mars have to pay for their flight with a loan. As indicated by the Starlink Internet Service Terms and Conditions, this city would be free to govern itself. In 2019, Musk estimated that on Mars this self-sustaining city would take around 1 million tons of cargo to build and cost $100,000 per ton to send cargo to Mars, which would put the price of Mars City at around $100 billion. How much of your personal fortune have you poured into this? Uh, $100 million. $100 million yeah. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. According to the billionaire, the total estimated price could be around $10 trillion. At the 21st Annual International Mars Society Convention in August 2022, the principal Mars development engineer for SpaceX, Paul Wooster, said that multiple cities are planned to be built by SpaceX. The idea would be to build a village, a town, growing into a city, and then there would be multiple cities on Mars. One of Musk's reasons for humans being a multi-species species is that an event that ended life on Earth could spell the end of humanity. But humans would survive if they managed to establish a base on a new planet like Mars. The other reason is to keep on living. According to Musk, there are so many things that make people depressed or sad, but becoming a spacefaring civilization is one of those things that makes people excited about the future. In February 2022, Elon Musk declared that a reason for humanity to expand is that we are life's guardians. We can build spaceships and can bring the creature we love with us. In 2017, Professor Stephen Hawking said that if humans hope to survive, they would need to expand within 100 years. However, astrophysicist Martin Rees responded to Hawking, saying that the idea was a dangerous delusion and that dealing with climate change on Earth is very easy as compared to making Mars habitable. Settlement of Mars is the theoretical human migration and long-term human establishment of Mars. The idea has gathered interest from public space agencies and private corporations, and has been greatly explored in science fiction writing, film, and art. Taking the first step towards a human mission to Mars, many organizations have proposed plans, but no one has set foot on the planet, and there have been no return missions. Talking about Mars, there are many challenges awaiting humans due to its environment. The orbit of Mars is close to the orbit of Earth and the asteroid belt. Mars's general composition and day are similar to Earth's, but still, the planet is unfriendly to life. The colonization of Mars will allow the search for the remains of ancient microbial life, drilling for soil and rock samples, and taking pictures and videos of rocks. To arrive in six and a half months on Mars from the Earth is a major opportunity for scientific exploration. To reach Earth, Mars requires less energy per unit mass than to reach any planet. There will be many other benefits of settlement on Mars, such as the crowding on the Earth will reduce. People will have another place to live. There is underground water, Martian soil, and ore resources, which could be used by colonists. Mars would lead experts to conclude that life is around the universe and not limited to only Earth. Humans will have to make new theories about our place in the universe and ourselves. In the future, wealthy tourists will take trips around the Earth, around Mars, orbit the Moon, and visit space stations. Despite all the benefits, we can't ignore the challenges that humans will face while living on Mars. The planet has an unbreathable atmosphere. On Mars, the infertile landscape is covered by intense ionizing radiation and fine dust and is pretty treacherous. The sales pitch for, for, for going to Mars is that um, it's going to be a cramped, dangerous, difficult, uh, very hard work, uh, you might die, um, and um, that's the sales pitch. 
I hope you like it. <laughs> there are also fewer opportunities to generate electricity via solar, wind, and nuclear power on Mars. Other difficulties and hazards that will be faced on Mars include radiation exposure during a trip to Mars and on its surface, low gravity, toxic soil, a lack of water, and cold temperatures. Public space agencies such as NASA ESA, Roscosmos ISRO, and the CNSA and private organizations such as SpaceX, Lockheed Martin, and Boeing have made commitments to permanent research. As the gravity of Mars is just 38% less than that of Earth, this microgravity is known to cause serious health problems, such as bone mineralization, muscle loss, increased risk of osteoporosis, and cardiovascular problems. In microgravity on Mars, the blood pressure in the lower body and legs is reduced, and the legs become weak through loss of muscle and bone mass. Astronauts were reported to have puffy faces and chicken leg syndrome. The Mars Gravity Biosatellite was proposed and designed to learn more about the effect of Mars' lower surface gravity on humans, but due to a lack of funding, it was canceled. Mars has a surface area that is only slightly less than the amount of dry land on Earth and has a lower average density as well as a smaller volume than Earth. Due to the lack of a magnetosphere, cosmic rays and solar particle events can easily reach the Martian surface. On Mars, atmospheric pressure is far below the Armstrong limit at which, without pressure suits, people can survive. Habitable structures on Mars would need to be constructed with pressure vessels containing pressure between 30 and 100 kilopascal, similar to spacecraft. There is a thin atmosphere on Mars that consists of mostly carbon dioxide, 3% nitrogen, 1.6% argon, and traces totaling less than 0.4% of other gases, including oxygen. It does not filter ultraviolet sunlight, which causes disruption of the molecular bonds between atoms, for example, ammonia breaks down in the Martian air after a few hours. Also, due to this type of atmosphere, the temperature difference between day and night is much greater. The thick atmosphere causes planet-wide dust storms. The thin atmosphere is thin enough that its temperature on average fluctuates between minus 70 and 0 degrees Celsius. However, during dust storms, the day and night temperature variation is much lower. On Mars, water is scanty, even less than that in Earth's driest desert. As far as the climate, it is much colder than Earth, depending on the season and latitude. A higher fraction of solar energy reaches the surface as radiation due to the thin atmosphere of Mars. Due to higher levels of radiation, there are many physical side effects that must be mitigated. Mars has no clouds and no rain. Although it is cold, it remains sunny apart from dust storms. Global dust storms can cover the entire planet for weeks and block sunlight from reaching the surface. After the storm, it has been observed to cause temperature drops of 4 degrees Celsius for several months. For long periods, dust storms will affect electricity production from solar panels and interfere with communications with Earth. Mars has seasons much like Earth, because the Martian year is about 1.88 Earth years, though on average they last nearly twice as long. The temperature regime on Mars is more similar to Earth's than any other planet in the solar system. Even in some areas, Mars can have Earth-like temperatures. The Martian soil is also toxic due to high concentrations of chlorine and associated compounds, such as perchlorates, which are dangerous and life-threatening to all forms of life. On the surface of Mars, animals and plants cannot survive the ambient conditions. However, some organisms that survive in extreme conditions, such as extreme pH temperature and radiation, can live on Mars. A Mars colony will become self-sustaining if it provides all the necessary living services, including good ecosystem management, controlling air pressure and temperature, producing appropriate gases, growing food and processing organic wastes, and collecting and producing water. According to a master's candidate in astronautical engineering, G.D. Minster, astronauts have difficulty after being in space for a year adjusting to Earth's gravity. But if there is an artificial gravity system that simulates Mars's gravity, the landing is easier. So if all goes according to Musk's plan, humans are expected to become a multi-planetary species in 2024, when SpaceX launches its Starship to Mars. That's all for today. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Also, please check out other videos on our channel as well. Thanks for watching.